Castor oil won't help if you're over 30 and still making this mistake using it without understanding its real purpose. Now, don't get me wrong. Castor oil has some serious benefits. But if you're slathering it on your skin, expecting to wake up looking 20 again, let me be the one to break it to you. It doesn't work that way. First off, castor oil is loaded with ricinoleic acid, a fatty acid that packs anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. It's fantastic for soothing irritated skin, fighting off bacteria, and giving your scalp some much-needed TLC. But here's where people often go wrong. They treat castor oil like some kind of magic fountain of youth. Spoiler alert, it's not. In fact, if you're over 30 and still think castor oil can single-handedly reverse time, you're in for a wake-up call. It's not about slapping on the oil and waiting for miracles. It's about consistency, understanding what it does, and working with your body, not against it. Now, let's talk about the main mistake, ignoring hydration. That's right. Castor oil is an occlusive, which means it seals in moisture, but it doesn't add any on its own. So, if you're skipping out on the essential step of hydrating your skin first, you're essentially locking in the dryness. It's like putting a lid on an empty jar, nothing in there to keep your skin looking plump and dewy. For the over 30 crowd, this mistake is even more crucial. As we age, our skin loses moisture more easily and simply relying on oils without proper hydration will leave you with dull, dry skin instead of the glowing look you're aiming for. Then there's the hair issue. Yes, castor oil can promote hair growth, sort of. It's great for nourishing the scalp, which in turn can create the right conditions for stronger, healthier hair to grow. But if you're over 30 and still applying it to the lengths of your hair, thinking it'll make your mane grow Rapunzel style, you're barking up the wrong tree. Hair growth happens at the root, not the tip. So, unless you're massaging it into your scalp, you're wasting that precious oil. Let's not forget the digestion department, one of castor oil's old school uses. Remember the days when your grandma used to swear by it for ahem, keeping things moving? Well, castor oil works as a stimulant laxative, but just because it works doesn't mean you should go wild with it. Especially after 30, your body's sensitivity to such things can change. Go too hard on castor oil internally, and you could end up with serious digestive discomfort, or worse. Plus, overuse can lead to dependency definitely not the help you're looking for. In the beauty world, many of us over 30 might still think of castor oil as the be-all end, all for skin and hair. But let's get real. Castor oil isn't going to give you a complete skin or hair overhaul. What it will do is offer support to an already solid routine. Think of it like that trusty sidekick great in a supporting role, but not the superhero of the story. So, what should you be doing instead? First, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Whether it's with water-based serums, lotions, or good old-fashioned water itself, get that moisture into your skin. Then use castor oil to lock it in and let those fatty acids do their work. For your hair, focus on scalp care. Massage castor oil and leave it on for a few hours or overnight, then rinse thoroughly. And if you're using it for digestive purposes, use it sparingly and consult with a doctor if you're unsure. Now, before I wrap this up, let me throw in a little laugh. If you're still hoping castor oil will do your taxes or make you breakfast in the morning, 
I hate to break it to you, no amount of oil can save you from that adulting grind. But hey, it's fantastic at making your eyelashes pop, so there's that. Don't just take my word for it, though give it a try, but this time, with the knowledge you need to avoid that over 30 mistake. Your skin, hair, and digestive system will thank you. And before you leave, don't forget to check out our previous videos for more tips and tricks. You don't want to miss the benefits you could be getting from all the content you've been overlooking. Give those videos a watch.